Well, if there's anything I love, it's me. And I spoke at CPAC this weekend, that gigantic political conference. And of course, you know, they needed all the most powerful, important, handsomest people in the country there. So they invited me to go up on the main stage and do a bit of a parody skit. Because let's be honest, who would be better than that than myself? So without further ado, enjoy my Socialist News Network bit from CPAC over the weekend. Hello, and welcome to the Socialist News Network. I'm Jesse Kelly. My preferred pronouns are they, them, her, him, and it. <laughs> While 150 million Americans have lost their health insurance after Congress passed the President's Medicare for All bill, Democrats are confident the plan will end in huge savings after all those people finally die. <laughs> Adam Schiff was confirmed to the Supreme Court today. <laughs> Earlier, an exuberant Schiff took to the microphone to express his great appreciation. Some of my colleagues made the statement repeatedly that I've met with the whistleblower, that I know who the whistleblower is. It was false the first time they said it. It was false the second through 40th time they said it. It will be false the last time they say it. In other news, the whistleblower has announced that Schiff will be the best man at his wedding. <laughs> Godfather of his child, assuming he's able to locate a woman desperate enough to procreate with him. Schiff is the 27th confirmed member of the Supreme Court. The body is expected to vote later today to officially change the name of the Politburo. The president, formally announced Columbus Day, will be eliminated and changed to Elizabeth Warren Day. <laughs> Apparently, some people were confusing it with Thanksgiving, so let's get something clear right now. You eat a turkey on Thanksgiving on Elizabeth Warren Day, you sound like one. Celebrations on Capitol Hill today as Greta Thunberg was named the next EPA administrator. <laughs> At her acceptance speech, Thunberg treated the crowd to some of her signature warmth and charm. How dare you? <laughs> you have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. In further efforts to combat climate change, airline flights to Hawaii have been permanently banned for everyone except for Democrat candidates for president who are flying there to talk about the dangers of fossil fuels. In a related climate story, the president signed an executive order mandating that all the electricity in Washington, D.C. come from wind power. Critics of the order are already complaining about the rolling blackouts every time Eric Swalwell leaves town. This is so far, the evidence is uncontradicted that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. Cheat an election. Cheat an election. Ten-year-olds, ten-year-olds have finally been granted the right to vote. Joe Biden was asked what he thought about more kids being involved in politics. His only answer was, Police are confirming their search and seizure of all guns from homes. Coincidentally, we're seeing a massive rise in violent crime, which Democratic politicians are calling a win, as it means America is finally becoming more welcoming of MS-13. The numbers are in, and the population of the United States skyrocketed to 7.7 .7 billion after all the borders were formally abolished. That sent the unemployment rate to 96.7%, but who needs a job when cocaine prices are this low? In other news, Nancy Pelosi took to the podium to accept an award last night. Imagine the honor to get the NAACP, cent at the cent NAACP centennial anniversary. And now it is a great pleasure to be with you here in New York, in Detroit. Uh, one hundred and once we once we restore the vote, once we break the grasp, the gas, the grasp of special interest. To do so, you must avoid the dazzling blinding, uh, blindness. It's nice to see Pelosi back out there after a brief embarrassing moment last week when she tried to use a wine bottle as the gavel. <laughs> Finally, saying goodbye to bathrooms. The last men's and women's room closed today. The rooms, synonymous with gender discrimination, were useful to people who had to relieve themselves for decades. 
When asked what the people should do now, the president urged Americans to follow San Francisco's lead and find an open slice of sidewalk. What can I say? Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.